Greetings, pipe smokers. How are we? Well, I wanted to check back in with you guys and let you know that I'm still alive. Um, I haven't abandoned the uh, YouTube pipe presenter community. Um, I haven't made a video in over a month. Um, and I've been kind of distracted with other things in life um, that have kept me from um, making videos or leaving many comments, watching many videos. Um, I some uh, health concerns going on with my immediate family that have kept me uh, preoccupied and distracted from uh, being very involved in the uh, <coughs> pipe smoking community. But I'm still around. Um, I still want to contribute and be a part of the community. Just let you guys know that. I um, hope everyone had a fun Halloween. Um, we did. Had lots of kids come by, so that was nice. Um, I was thinking that for um, for the holidays this year that I would like to try my hand at a pipe contest here on the YouTube. Um, but I have no idea what to, I don't know, theme the pipe contest or, you know, whatever. Um, so... I'm thinking about that. Um, if anybody's got any good suggestions, feel free to share them. I'd appreciate it. Um, yeah, I, and I wanted to do it such that um, you know it ends. You know, and, and it'll run. It'll run about. Excuse me. Run about a month. So it'll end. You know, sometime in uh, you know maybe early um, December. And um, the reason I wanted to do it that then or in then is because what I'm thinking of doing is making this be what the winner will win. This is a Stanwell Zebrano. Um, I don't smoke this pipe much anymore, f um, primarily because it's a little on the small side for me personally. It's um, it just uh, it just I, I like my pipes to be a little bit bigger, the bowl to be a little bit bigger, so it holds at least a little bit more tobacco, and I get a little bit longer smoke out of it. Um, so it's just kind of sitting in my uh, in my rack, kind of gathering dust, not be not being smoked. And I figure, you know, this thing really deserves a nice home, so maybe I'll do a contest, and that will be the prize. So, um, but again, I don't know really what to theme my contest for to make that, uh, you know, give you guys something that's interesting and to want to participate in. Anyway, so if you have ideas, let me know. Um, what I'm getting ready to smoke right now is some of this, some Cornell and Deal's Autumn Evening. This is the perfect time of year for this brand new tin. I have never opened it, uh, so I'm going to open it right now and load up my pipe and see what it tastes like. So let's open this up. Good grief! I can smell it already. Holy cow! <laughs> wow! Whoo! This stuff just reeks, and I say that in the best possible way of maple syrup. Wow! Holy smokes! I wonder how wet this stuff is. Eh, if I can get this top off. There. Good golly! That's what it looks like. Uh, it's a l it's moist. It's not too moist. It's not yeah. It's just right. It's probably just right moisture level wise. It's all kind of a a very even looking kind of a chocolate brown color. Uh, see the tin says autumn evening a red Virginia Cavendish cased with a delicate maple flavor. Delicate. And exceptionally smooth aromatic. So a red Virginia Cavendish with maple flavoring and definitely maple syrup flavor or smell. S smells great. I mean I love maple syrup. Real maple syrup. Not you know log cabin or Aunt Jemima maple flavored syrup. I'm talking about real true maple syrup. So, mm. so and I'm going to be smoking that in this pipe 
This is one of my Savinelli's. It's a Savinelli Roma, and this is a Zulu shape. So this is a, an aromatic pipe for me. I'll be loading this up and smoking it in this. But anyway, so yeah, I've been uh, kind of preoccupied with some, uh, you know, some health issues in my family. My mother, um, my wife, both of those, both of them actually had to have surgery in the past month. I said, well, my mom's surgery, she had her knee replaced, was uh, mid-September. And she's pretty old now. She's like, I don't know, 75 or so. So that was going through the physical therapy and rehab on her knee replacements kind of <laughs> went hard on her. Um, and then my wife, she fell and ended up basically breaking her elbow and having to have it uh, surgically repaired and have a plate put in it. So um, that happened just recently. So um, we've been going through that surgery and she's just completely doctor and hospital phobic. Well, I mean, who likes going to see the, you know, the hospital? But she was just like, oh my God. Even though she's been to the hospital before in her life. But anyway, so we got through that fine and now she's going through the physical therapy and rehab for her elbow. Um, so that was fun. So that kept me pretty well preoccupied for the past, uh, I don't know, month, month and a half. So that's why I haven't really made any videos. All right. Let's see how this goes. Sorry about that. Mm-hmm. Definitely getting a little maple flavor in this. But it's not uh, nearly as strong as their tin aroma. I mean, it's there, but it's not like just overpowering. Nice. Yeah, first couple of puffs. Nice aromatic. Nice and maple. If you like uh, maple syrup, maple flavored stuff, you probably like this. Okay. Well, there you go, folks. Yeah, like I said, if you uh, you know help me out with an idea of what to uh, theme my contest, I'd appreciate it. Hopefully the uh, idea of winning a pipe as part of this pipe contest will interest enough of you guys to make it, you know, worthwhile. So let me know what you think. I appreciate it. Take care. We'll see you again, and as always, smoke in peace.